Hi, and welcome to an AV Framework demonstration. My name is Jason. One of the most powerful components of AV Framework is the out-of-the-box plug-and-play functionality. The centerpiece to that is the Crestron Connected, or TTU100. In the next few minutes, I'll show you how AV Framework comes pre-configured for use with connected devices, as well as how to modify configuration and even add a device to the system. Let's start by logging into our web interface. On our status page, you can see that certain pieces of equipment are predefined. And in this case, you'll see four connected units ready to go. If I want to configure those units, I can move to my Devices tab. On the right-hand side, there's an Edit button for each unit. Here we can see which sources are assigned to that connected. So when the button on the connected is pressed, which source is shown on the display. If I want to remove one of the connected units, I can easily do so. Click the trash can icon, select OK. And if I want to re-add it back into the system, click Add. Our device type is Cable Caddy. Provide a friendly name. And when I get to Model, it's a method of communication. USB will be our standard for AV framework-based systems, but I can also use CrestNet. Assign the sources that I want to be shown, select the port, and save. Next, I can move to my switcher tab. On the right-hand side of the switcher tab, you can see where the connectors are assigned based on sources. I can also modify the configuration from this page as well. Maybe I want to reverse the order in this case, make the HDMI the priority or VGA or otherwise. I can do so. Finally, when I'm done, simply activate the new configuration. Those changes will go into play, and now my system is up and running. So you can easily see out of the box, our systems are pre-configured for use with ConnectBits, but we can also modify and change very easily on the fly.